afternoon everyone introducing uh, you lakshay the co-founder of birth birth venue over to you lakshay thanks uh, for such an uh, opportunity for to present our startup uh, birth venue is a which is into blockchain enterprise solution we are into blockchain enterprise solution and we have uh, just completed two uh, years previously into the 12 september 2020 uh, the company has got a very immense solutions with them. Uh, we are into diverse field and uh, we are dealing with day-to-day -to -day problem that business are facing. Uh, we have got a various unique solution, whether it is regarding loan, uh, whether it is regarding loan applications, loan aggregator solution. Uh, we have got uh, various other solutions like insurance, trade finance solution with us. Uh, we have won the R3 Coda challenge previous uh, in 2020. We are the winner of trade finance category. Uh, we have won various other hackathons. We are winning hackathons regularly. And uh, what we have got solution is insurance. Uh, definitely is the biggest one that we have trade finance, uh, supply chain, and fake news solution plus loan aggregator solution. These are the right now demos that we have. Uh, remaining to that, uh, the other tools that we are going to introduce by uh, April that we are planning. Our identity solution and healthcare one. Uh, that will be a new uh, thing that will be uh, launched for the public. Uh, the, just I share all the things with you. Yes. This is uh, our website. Uh, we have got all the solutions which is into all enterprise blockchain that we are. Uh, we have recently completed our two years. And this is our team. This is the advisors that we have. We have a proper advisor team with us. Uh, we have got customer in uh, insurance, which is true cover. We have got a uh, customer in logistics, which is Origo and R3 Coda is our, our partner. When it comes to fintech companies, they, uh, we just prefer R3 Coda because they have a best uh, blockchain for finance domain. And that is absolutely uh, no doubt. They have doing a great work in that field. Uh, then we uh, we have different plans as per your choice. You can take which one you want to go. Uh, this is the proper uh, website that we have. We we regularly do webinars. So if anybody wants to check out our webinars, they can just go on our uh, link through webinars. And here we have webinars. We do enterprise webinars also, which is blockchain webinars. Right now we are into blockchain. We are fully blockchain company now. Firstly, we are a blockchain plus AI company, but now we have changed our uh, uh, strategy to fully a blockchain company. And uh, that's our demos. The four demos that right now we have are insurance tech, logistics, loan aggregator, and fake news. Uh, let's come to insurance tech because this is a very interesting use case and it, uh, it's very, it is a very uh, unique one. The demo is obviously uh, to explain how the automate the claim settlement and streamline the processes that everyone uh, faces, especially the participants. Uh, I just introduce you. The main players that we have taken is customers, insurance company, bank, and hospital, because they are the main players in the insurance industry. Uh, then we have peers of blockchain, obviously, because uh, each actor will have his own copy of database. That's the quality the blockchain will have that, and uh, what record can be updated and by whom is. We have given everything here. This uh, the previous block hash, current block hash, timestamp, nonce, and valid or not. The tick is there. Purchase policy obviously when he purchased the policy, the purchase policy is here. He can purchase policy from here. He can see the request what is happening with his purchase policy is whether it is approved or not or what is the status. Request for claim obviously when he requests for claim, he will go there and he just click on the request for claim portal and the request. Uh, for his claim will be entered uh, and he can see what is happening with the claim request and whether the hospital is approved or not. Then he can uh, definitely uh, uh, what he can do he then the final claim amount can, can confirm and participant logical trial will become that everybody will get to know that his amount has been approved and now the entry will be diminished. APA cost is uh, the complete flow of transaction that has happened till now. Every flow of transaction, how is it happened? Every API call, you can check it. It is a, like a proper chart of the, everything. Uh, then we have that is record tampering. 
you can obviously do not you cannot change the record of the information and it's a very interesting one because uh, in insurance there was a problem that people used to change records or something that's uh, especially hospital insurance company that are previous practices they have but now uh, so it's digital though it's not possible and now with the help of blockchain we are making it properly secure so just i just show you here's the purchase policy here when you go from here you will can see the view purchase policy request here everything is there identify customer insurance company request date health policy request time stamp and purchase policy request status then you can go and request for claim right now because of window sharing is not coming Uh, so it's not uh, just show you. So uh, obviously uh, request for claim. Then we have view claim request here. And after view the claim request, you can just go and check it out like this. Here is all the everything identifier amount approved or not. Uh, asset type, patient payment, processing the mark status. Process claim request that we have. Let's go to the uh, another one, which is a supply chain one, which is a very interesting uh, solution. Uh, the demos are working properly, but right now because of screen sharing, I think it's not working like that, that we accepted. Uh, but uh, no problem. I just explain you everything. So here, what you can do is uh, minimum temperature, MRP, shelf life, and everything will be there. Uh, so everything will be there. Yes. I just show you that uh, logistics and supply chain network can make the network temper proof without any manual error. Obviously, uh, it will be a properly digital uh, solution for the supply chain one. Uh, then we have PS of blockchain. The uh, participant will be their manufacturer, transporter, and retailer and consumer. The four player that we are taking. Uh, then what we have every single updated made by peers on their independent dashboard are understood at independent transactions across all the blockchains. Uh, they are dynamically updated in a transparent manner by any participant can be uh, update them. Uh, obviously block of blockchains are there. You can see it obviously previous block, current block as timestamp, nouns valid. Uh, then we have, you can create your contract as per what factors you can set. You can set temperature, MRP, shelf life, uh, for the actual manufactured good uh, to be verified, automatically get verified by all the parties can see uh, what is temperature is appropriate or not, is shelf life is appropriate or not, or whether it is fit or not in our warehouse. Obviously, this is a great contract. Just open it. So it's showing problem. I'll skip it. Okay. So, uh, so this other uh, demo that we have, I just. Okay. Yes. Uh, then we have a loan aggregator, which is of the uh, CBI authority bank loan aggregator customer these are the solutions that we have made uh, for that the four parties in this uh, it's not working obviously i just leave it because it's creating problem so i just show you the uh, another use case which is a very good one which is a fake news one uh, in fake news one we have a uh, originator verifier medium and recipient in horizontal, it is create report. You can create your report like news title. I just type it ABS body. This is a report category. I just taken news article. Verified body, I have taken ICMR. And I've created a report. Yes. So you can see the report has been created. Okay. Now, what I just have to go, I just to go and view report. The report is there. Here, news report one, ABS news article, ICMR created on date, 
and now if i verify recruit as the i have the right here i just verified it so it is had been added yes it has been added now i just have to go and view report here okay whether i want to publish or not so i have the right as a medium whether i want to publish it or not if i have seen that is verified but it's not published it's publish click is not coming so what i will do i just go and publish Yes, now it's published uh, because the buttons are slow, so that's why it's taking time. Uh, okay, now uh, it's published. So if you go and check it, I just I just do it again because I think it hasn't gone. This is a report I create. Okay. Uh, this is a very great solution because fake news problem is going very widely. So we have brought the solution. Uh, then we have uh, identifier, title, category, ICR is not verified. Publish is not published, created or verify or few. I just verify it. Okay. Now we have another channel. This is uh, the parties are there. Originator who is getting the news. Uh, verifier who is verifying it, verifying authority. And medium is the channel who is publishing. And they, this is a person who is uh, like a reporter or a recipient or a customer who is at the end sharing the news. Uh, so here we have uh, a person who is uh, publishing this. So I have just seen, okay, it's verified, it's date, it's news report, category, created on date, everything I've seen it. Now I've got it and publish. So, uh, so after publish, you can see. Actually, taking problem because of screen sharing. I, just, I will share the demo if anybody wants to see the demo because we have a demo properly working on. But right now, because the screen sharing speed is slow, it's not giving the opportunity properly. So, but uh, I just explain you uh, roughly is a uh, generator, verifier, medium, a recipient. And uh, in our generator, we have create report option. And here we can see and view report. Here we can go and check out whether what is the status of the report, whether it is verified or not, then we can publish it. Here we can uh, check uh, whether we want to share it or not. Share button comes here as action. Here verification button comes as action. Here publish button comes as action. Is published or not is verified. Here we can create report. That is how report is created because right now it's not working uh, because of screen sharing. So if anybody wants to see all the uh, check out our demos regarding insurance, supply chain, uh, loan aggregator and fake news problem, they can definitely contact me on 701-5571-891 to our WhatsApp uh, and they can contact me on admin at uh, birthmenu.in. That is our email ID. This is a four solution that we have right now. Uh, we have got demos. The another two solution that demos are coming is by April, uh, which is uh, healthcare and identity solution. Uh, healthcare one is uh, with everyone who is want to have a pharmacy industry or they are into online doctor consultancy or they are into uh, healthcare services, uh, healthcare startups mainly. So they will be the primary beneficiary, but it's up to the hospital. If they also want, uh, they are interested in healthcare solution, they can definitely come to us. Uh, then we have identity solution for everyone uh, because we have seen the tourism industry facing the problem of uh, identity. Uh, so we are bringing a decentralized identity solution, which is based on blockchain. And uh, this this demo will also be uh, revealed by the April. So that's from our side.
but if anybody wants to contact us they can definitely contact us i've shared my email id and address uh, email id and phone number and uh, you can definitely contact us through AI, ami ami uh, they are doing a great work and best of luck uh, for all the future thanks Thank you uh, so much, Alexa. Thank, Thank you for you. your time uh, for the presentation. So there won't be any Q and A uh, after this. So if that's it from your end, uh, you can just uh, quit the meeting and. You can okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, sir. So next up, uh, we have Mr. Anindya Panda uh, from, uh, so one second. So can you hear me? Sir, we can't hear you actually, you're on mute. Yeah, hi everybody. Let me just uh, share my screen one second, please. So let me know if uh, you are able to hear me and sh see the screen. You and see the screen. You are live, right? Perfect. Perfect. Uh, so we are good to start. Good yeah. To start. Good to go. Perfect. So uh, good day, everybody. A very good day indeed. Why not? In fact, it will be a great day if I can convince this uh, August audience that with just one single connection into my fix our blockchain-based banking and financial services ecosystem. We can put 12,431 crores or 1.775 billion US dollars back into the pockets of 100 million Indians. Or with that same single connection, we can put a smile on the faces of 250 million blue-collared migrant workers across the world while opening an untapped opportunity of $20 billion for remittances industry. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is possible. And we at New Street have proven it. We have leveraged blockchain's inherent features to democratize not value, not democratize data, but to democratize processes. Imagine if Ford built cars that can only run on roads that they build and on the fuel they produce. How would they price such a car? The cost of the car could be its worth in its weight in gold. Not practical, right? However, this is the only choice that the BFSI sector has today. Take the case of microfinance. Each and every institution has its own network of PC partners, field executives, collection processes, and whatnot, all crisscrossing the country to meet the same customer for the same purpose. What if they could trust a common infrastructure, a common process to do it at a fraction of the cost that it is today? Possible? Yes, that's what a single connection to my fix does. And we have proven it. With a large bank in India, we have managed to improve their average time taken to deliver a microfinance loan by 500%. And we have built them a portfolio of over $10 million and a hopping 250% increase in return on asset over their other asset products. All in just six months, and it's continuing to grow post pandemic, giving them an opportunity to deliver a microfinance loan to the poor customer at an unprecedented low rate as a scale up their operations on MyFix. 
that has not only put a smile on more than 24,000 women, but also has put a smile on the banks and our partners, MyFix users. We are going to show a small video here. What more? The bank also went on to showcase us at their analyst day as an innovation they believe will contribute to their strategy of enhancing enterprise value. Similarly, we also pioneered finance against remittances, a world first in the remittances industry, helping Nepalese migrants in UAE gain access to formal bank accounts and loans in their own home country for the first time, a process which takes only minutes across border, across time zones. Here also our platform found the fancy of none other than the United Nations Capital Development Fund, UNCDF, who went on to sponsor a bank in Nepal as our first pilot client for finance against remittances. Again, we believe that we have hit just the right chords here in terms of creating value against the expectations of our clients partners and their customers. Let's just listen in to what our MTO partner thinks of finance against remittances on MyFix. And so also their customers, the remitters, the unsung heroes, who's helping build the economies of both his home and his host country. We show our video here. Hi everybody, very proud of the strategic relationship between our and exchange and your technology together a very unique innovative solution for the express building in the gut area to add a lot of value to their remittances by having a finance against remittances. This unique product, I believe, has the whole potential to escalate and to bring real value to our express building in the Lakshmi Bank Nepal Markup, Kazan Pines of Honor, Satisanga, Sunipati, my house, Padigali, and I come with the Los Angeles on the Pony Pine. Imagine there are over 200 such global remittances corridors. There is a 15 trillion rupees microfinance opportunity in India alone, and it doesn't stop there. Over the last few months, MyFix, our flagship blockchain-enabled ecosystem for the BFSI sector, has evolved into a robust gateway, supporting multiple banking products, which involve third-party agents, their processes, and the bank's clients. MyFix has been assessed as a bank-grade technology by RBI-authorized tech auditors, post-extensive vulnerability and penetration testing. New Street has also been ISO 9001 and ISO 27001 certified for quality management and information security, respectively. With these credentials, we have expanded or are expanding our banking product footprint to other areas such as cash management, including accounts receivables matching, invoice and payables management, customer loyalty program management, payroll solutions, liquidity management structures, video banking, etc. Trade finance, including FX and working capital facilities, SME export finance, supply chain finance, channel finance, etc. Or commodity finance, including pledge finance, agri warehouse finance, securitization, etc. Retail banking comprising of video KYC, video customer service, video appointment scheduler, etc. 
retail assets comprising loan origination through third party agents such as DSAs and business correspondence, collateral management, end to end loan management for mortgages, auto loans, gold loans, personal loans, securitization, and buyouts, card loyalty programs, third party products like insurance, mutual funds, etc., etc., etc. Is this really possible? Such diverse applications on a single platform? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is possible. Because, as I said earlier, MyFix leverages blockchain's inherent features to democratize not value, not democratize data, but to democratize processes. In the context of the car manufacturer, we are not replacing Ford's ability to manufacture good cars, nor are we replacing an oil producer's ability to extract and distribute fuel, or for that matter, laying good roads. But what are we doing is making it possible for the experts of each area to bring together their own processes on a single perfect ecosystem and work in harmony to deliver a beautifully synchronized and end-to-end enhanced customer experience. And to do it in a simple, non-intrusive way, so that our clients don't have to compromise on security, worry about redundancy and sunk costs. And that is what we have extended across multiple banking products, whether it is warehouse finance, where we have brought in the participating banks, warehouses, collateral managers, delivery partners or whether it is auto loans, where again we are brought in the banks, the RTOs, the, the vehicle dealers and others, or the trade finance, where there are participating banks, the importers, the issuing banks, the exporters, and we are able to onboard the various letters of credits and letter of guarantees. All of that could be covered through one singular node being installed in a bank's data center called MyFix. You open the pack, install MyFix, connect it to your core systems using your existing API tools, using your own API gateways. We will do the same at the data centers of any partner of your choice and voila, you are connected. We promise to take you live on MyFix in six to eight weeks. We have done it before and our clients be a testimony to our success so far. With our shared economy revenue model with clients, we are on the verge of achieving operational break-even within the first 12 months after we took MyFix Live. As we are blessed by the wisdom of the stars that guide us, and we hope to find many more stars to join this constellation after today. Thank you for your time. We are open to any questions and answers now. Any questions so far? There are no questions, sir. So if you want to take up the next mm -hmm. five minutes or so, you can. Okay, uh, so in that case, probably we can also elaborate a little bit more on the core technology of the system. So, uh, MyFix, which is basically a multi-interface financial exchange, uh, is built on a core uh, blockchain technology hyperledger Fabric 1.4. Um, so there are multiple core technology components involved here. First one is the user experience layer which comprises of uh, the MyFix user interface uh, and MyFix dashboards. Now, the user interface is uh, typically built on um, Android uh, mobile system. So the field officers can download a MyFix app in their smartphones, Android smartphones, and use it on the field. At the same time, it also have provides uh, MyFix uh, web dashboard and web interface uh, for the various uh, 
CX suite of people to access uh, MyFix application as well as the MyFix dashboards. There are some inherent intrinsic API calls which are provided with MyFix. Uh, so MyFix and banks uh, various APIs and SDKs are also provided. There are business layers which are connected, which are integrated in the technology stack for loan accounts, for direct benefit transfer accounts, for credit score cards, and other pertinent uh, banking information that a bank wants to involve in the business layer. There is a very unique smart contract layer, which is an enhancement of uh, uh, historically speaking stored procedures where stored procedures used to be invoked to do a particular business transaction within a bank's controlled ecosystem. But using a smart contract, a bank can invoke a particular contract and let it run across multiple parallel processes. It can cover various credit scores like Highmark or Equifax reports. It can cover uh, UIDI interfaces through the bank's APIs. Uh, there is a core technology layer, which is the bank's core banking system, which is integrated with MyFix, with the bank's own MyFix uh, node in their own data center under the protection of their firewall. And, and uh, the core technology is built on Hyperledger. Uh, expanded into uh, Hyperledger Fabric 2.2, which is the latest uh, technology further. And it, the, its current infrastructure is hosted on Microsoft Azure, However, it can be hosted on any number of cloud environment. And in terms of uh, the core operations, the core microfinance operations, so this is how currently uh, it is getting run. Uh, so as you can see, the bank has its own uh, dedicated node, which uh, is installed in the bank's data center under protection of the bank's own firewall and which then gets connected with the bank's uh, core banking system, be it a Finacle, be it a T24, uh, or be it uh, uh, any kind of other uh, solutions like FlexQ for that matter. And then uh, the same data center, same node is also getting installed. Another node is getting installed in the delivery partner side, uh, which the delivery partner uh, then uh, uh, installs uh, the mobile version of the app in the, in the field forces uh, mobile phones and then the field forces use that to start sourcing from the ground. And once the sourcing starts, then that information gets relayed through the delivery partner uh, node to the bank's node. And from the bank's node through the various API integration, it can hit the UIDAI server for validating the KYC details. And upon the KYC details being passed, uh, it then automatically can trigger another API uh, to call the the credit scores, whether it's Highmark or other credit bureau, and try to get the credit scorecards. And once those information are accumulated uh, inside the, the bank's node, bank will invoke one of the smart contract, which will decide uh, whether uh, that particular customer's loan is sanctioned or not. And once it is sanctioned, that information gets automatically real-time relayed via the delivery partner's MyFix node. Uh, the, the, one of the advantages of MyFix is this, it can cut the, the legacy processes, which also uses some kind of technology, but jaded and data technology, so which typically takes about 12 to 15 business days uh, to deliver a microfinance loan to three business days and lesser. So that is one of the core advantages of MyFix. And uh, using the same note, the bank, as we have already showcased, can roll on n number of other products they can roll on warehouse financing, they can roll on trade finance, they can do any kind of retail lending. They can launch perhaps the sole example of cross-border remittances driven lending, which is the finance against remittances, which is also uh, uh, acknowledged by UN UNCD of the United Nations Capital Development Fund as a box for a, a bank or a financial institution to bring in any number of partners getting any customers. And particularly from the perspective of pandemic and a post-pandemic world, uh, MyFix is also embedded with uh, video banking and video KYC modules based on RBI's VC protocols. So using which 
our bank can onboard any customer to any recurring video KYC without necessarily having to call the customer physically into the local branch. It can be done over a video session. So. And hopefully, uh, if there are further questions, uh, our contact details are there and people can contact us and we can have further conversation. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Thank you, thank you, Aninja, sir. Uh, thank you. Hi, so next up, uh, we have Mr. Nitin from the alley. Good evening, Good evening sir. <clears throat> sir, we can hear you actually. Right. There is some. Hi, good evening. Um, how do I share? I've given you the rights uh, to share. You can see a button at the bottom of the screen mm -hmm. named share. Let me let me try with other. There is little lag in your uh, bandwidth, I guess. If you can uh, turn off your video, maybe then we can hear you properly. Okay, um, is this any better? Yeah, a little better now. Can you try sharing your screen? Okay, uh, just a second. I'm actually just switching. There's little lag in your uh, bandwidth, I guess. Okay, I'm just you switching the browser. Turn off just... your video, maybe then we can hear you properly. No, I'm, can I, can I log off and I'll switch, log in from the new? Sure, 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 sir. You can do that. Okay, uh, is it? There's still some lag in your uh, voice. It's breaking. Maybe you can turn off your video. Uh, anyways, you will be presenting and uh, maybe then we can try. Right. Oh, it says uh, I have to go to the desktop app. Now, and now you're clear, sir. Now you're clear. Uh, the one with off video sounds better. Now you're clear, sir. Now you're clear. The one with off video sounds better.
Can you share, sir? Yeah, I am not actually able to open my. I don't know what's happening in this thing. Can you share, sir? I'm trying to share. Um, yeah, I'm not actually able to open my. Hi, I'm sorry. Is it uh, is it any better? Sounds good, sir. Okay. Yeah, now we can see that I've shared your screen. Okay. So good to go, sir. So I'm sorry for the, all the technology challenges. I'll I'll not take anyway more than ten minutes. So um, I'm I think it's clear, right? I'm you can hear me. Yes, you're audible. You're audible. Very much audible. Right. Hi, I'm sorry. Is it uh, is it any better? Now it's a little so, unclear, but it's, it's better. Amani, it's good. Okay. There are two people, sir. So I'm there sorry are, for the technology challenge. I'm not taking any more than ten minutes. So yeah. I'm, I think it's clear, right? I'm, you can hear me. Yes, you're audible. You're audible. Very much audible. Right. I'm sorry. Can, I think I have two sessions enabled. Yes. Can you please so, cancel one of the sessions? Amani, it's good. Uh, sir, you uh, might be on the platform also as attendee, I guess. Are oh, yes. you on the platform too? Yes, yes. Yeah, so just uh, close it because. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now, then, now there will be no. Okay, so now can you see my screen now? Yes, yes. now. Good. Okay, Good. Fair okay, so I'm just gonna. Okay, um, sorry guys, I'm in. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm sorry for this technology um, glitch that I had. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna slightly switch gears and keep it uh, very short. Uh, and moreover, my in industry is also entertainment. It is basically not heavy subject. So you would possibly appreciate very quickly what I'm trying to do here. Um, so, what we are trying to do here basically is uh, uh, very well explained by Mr. Ram Gopal Verma, right? I mean, uh, the whole objective is to kind of bring some kind of methodology and some kind of uh, 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 solution in the distribution industry in the in be it films or be it videos and stuff like that. Currently, the entire industry is highly irregulated, and except for the first regulation that we saw some coming in in, in last week. Uh, there haven't been any kind of, um, you know, re regulations which are, which were kind of enforced on the industry. And so the process of film distribution of a process of video distribution is highly siloed and basically broken. You know, I mean, so basically it, you do not have a process. What we are trying to bring here in the entire industry in multiple processes uh, is, uh, is a complete transparency in the transaction and a met and, and, a, and a basically a methodology to kind of do things in a certain way. Now, we have just started, we are a very young company. Um, we have just started, but I think uh, what, what we are currently achieved is only the first part of the uh, thing that we want to do. It is all about bringing in complete transparency into the transactions 
which we which you do on any of the digital platforms so so uh, we basically were the first company to launch uh, a tward model in india which is pay per view uh, and we basically did it on blockchain so we used uh, a blockchain to kind of bring in absolute traceability and the transparency in all the transactions that we do and we by the way we did this before the regulations came in so um, mr ram gopal verma was basically has put it rightly in his uh, in his comments and and uh, uh, basically these are the two things which which we are trying to do uh, based upon some of the challenges which industry is facing now the distribution video distribution process be it uh, in films uh, which is in india or globally is actually having three big problems one is basically the first one is all about the piracy which is about trust uh, what what is happening with my content uh, the second is all about transparency so uh, most of you wouldn't know but uh, in european world and an international dis film distribution market india has is called as a black hole the reason why it is called as a black hole is whatever goes to india never comes back be it film or or money now this that that problem is much more deeper in in india and there is no traceability because we do not have any kind of a data which basically tells you what happened when now those are exactly the problems that we are trying to solve using a blockchain and and as a first step what we have done is we have tried to kind of distribute the content on on an ott platform right which is which is purely digital digital to digital so we can release a film on a on on a on a platform and you can possibly have online sessions uh, basically on on the platform so the the mechanism here is to kind of distribute the content on the platform with absolute transparency and integrity that's that's the model and now we are video agnostic so you can possibly be a filmmaker you can be a tech platform uh, you can build an ott you can basically build a celebrity management you can build a new youtube on top of it right so basically you there is there is no uh, there is no limit to the scale that you can achieve with this at this point of time we are doing two things so we are streaming the video basically and we will be live stream we, we are live streaming the videos so both the things which we do and in both the processes we bring in utmost transparency with respect to the content users and and the transaction the payments so this is the first time that industry is actually looking at it uh, soon we are launching basically an interactive zone which you will experience as an ott platform or any of the video zones or the first for the first time in india and you will possibly see a lot of interactivity happening between the uh, between the players actors and production houses and and consumers um, what we have developed very quickly is is uh, uh, that is those are the things which are basically on the consumer side which you can which you can consume uh, going forward, our objective is to kind of take it from physical, digital to physical, which means you will see the same technology being extended into theaters when you actually be in the films there. And that process is equally complicated, broken, and basically dominated by few intermediaries. So we want to kind of really democratize that process and bring absolute transparency and absolute economics into the, into the system where the creator really connects to the consumers directly, right? So, um, so that is that is primarily on the on on the front end side, but on the back end side is all that I do on uh, is is blockchain. We the consumer as a consumer, you will not even realize what is what is the difference here with respect to Netflix and and what you are doing on Alley. But if you are a producer, if you are a content owner, which who is giving you content on both both these platforms, there's a huge difference. I mean, I bring in at, at absolute traceability and transparency in real time onto the platform. And you are basically, uh, you can view that with a dashboard, which is available to you at your fingertips. So that is one. The second is I give you basically every penny that you earn, you know, exactly at any given point of time, how much you're earning and how a market is responding to some of your, um, uh, position statements or, or marketing uh, initiatives that you are taking as you're releasing the films or the content. So, so that is a, that is a very enhanced uh, CMS that is feature number one. Uh, the second is basically it is not a, only a video distribution platform, but it's a system on its own where you can bring in your entire network to collaborate and provide a, a, a provider solution to the market. So it's a, we are, we are bringing for the first time again, multi-channel partner network on the OTT platform, which gives 
the same amount of transparency and traceability of the transactions on on uh, to everyone. So so there are it it eliminates the enormous amount of disputes that you see. You know, I mean, there are there are so many issues that happen because of this in an industry. And and we intend to basically uh, clear that cloud with with uh, with the offerings that we have currently. Uh, this is basically, of course, we will be using the crypto, and we will basically launch. Uh, we are launching the coins, so you would possibly see very quickly uh, transactions and and multiple other services coming in in crypto uh, on the platform. Um, there are a whole lot of other features that I enabled on this, uh, and and we have tied up with uh, multiple distribution partners. Uh, in fact, in the digital space, we were the first to tie up with Book My Show in in bang in the COVID days. Uh, we are we are actually again in the digital space. We are the first to tie up with Paytm and in, in offering some of the services. So so there is a there's there's a quite good amount of interest which is coming in in all 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 these spaces. Um, I would skip the uh, basically the use cases uh, just quickly. There are some we are we are already in in revenue making stage. We have a couple of good clients and big brands uh, on top of. Built on top of it, um, won some few awards there again for the platform. Uh, that is that is a theoretical thing. Very quickly, um, in terms of the demo, we can you can actually experience this yourself. And again, as a as a consumer, what you will see is you can possibly upload just one fill onto the platform, and you can at the same point of time, if you are a distributor, you can possibly uh, upload thousands of fill from the platform, right? So that is the ability that you can do all in DIY mode. So that is that is the that is a quick thing. Um, this is basically as a as a creator, as a as as a professional, as an individual, you can create your own thing. I have just uh, um, you can log in, you can basically experience that. Um, you this is this is what where you will land. So for example, this is one of the um, uh, designers who has basically created a channel to sell it very privately, and then you can. Once you are logged in, once you sign in, you can start playing the video. But this is one one uh, kind of a uh, this is one one just one video that anyone can basically upload. Whereas you can possibly have uh, entire channel built on top of it and and basically have uh, multiple features around that. Yeah. Um, you when you go to the CMS, you have an ability to kind of completely trace the transactions. Uh, this is this is as per the recent uh, requirements of the IT department. We are supposed to bring in absolute transparency in the transaction and traceability, and and Ali is already compliant with that. So so you you have multiple things here. You can basically have uh, quite. You can upload your films yourself. Um, you know, I mean, basically, uh, beat series, episode, images, videos. But anything on the digital space, in OTT space, in video distribution space, um, be it you want to do anything, something similar to YouTube or Vimeo or Netflix or, or even EdTech Play or anything, you can you can build it yourself on the platform. Um, that's that's very quickly what we are doing, and I invite you all to basically experience this uh, by kind of uh, uh, logging in and, and getting started yourself on this. So that is that is very quickly uh, in the first phase that we have developed and what we have taken live. Um, probably in the next session, I should speak more about uh, the digital to physical and how we have kind of enabled a lot of hundreds of theaters across India and the world uh, on this platform. So that's more or less uh, very quickly from my side, uh, team. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your time, uh, your presentation. Right, I'm. I'm sorry again uh, for the delay and for the technology. No, no issues. No issues at all, sir. But I think I did well on time. Yeah, we are right before time actually. Spread. Okay, great. So, right, it went well, sir. so thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you, sir. Do I log off? Now?